two hot topics of the week from the group page have to be the tip jar and life scope life scope life scope just nationwide i mean it's all of a sudden like the argument has flared back up after that last elite series event uh the live scope talk is is rampant which one we want to talk about first uh we can go with the live scope since it's last off the tongue here i don't know how you argue it how do you how do you say enough is enough technology yeah and why would you right what are your my, thoughts my thing is it's it's the hypocrisy of the whole thing that's kind of maddening to me because there are limits on a lot of technology or tools. They call LiveScope a tool. Like you can't use a small boat with a ninety horse if you're that kind of guy. You can't use a net in pro, you know, some pro tournaments anyway. Uh, can't jump berms. You can't you can't do certain things that your 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 tools, your boat, whatever could do, but yet this is allowed. The the biggest deal is a like a rigs banned and if you read that little article that i shared on the group page last week just kind of poking the bear a little bit on it the actual quote from the organization of why they banned it that's if anything is is hypocritical is that article compared to what live scope does it doesn't make any sense and then here the a rig still sits banned so i think i don't think it's the actual piece of tech it's the that's allowed and all this other stuff isn't maybe is what's so upsetting to people I can see that. I think. I mean, you know, I don't think you should ban specific lures and stuff either. I think that's kind yeah. of ludicrous. Like, as long as it's not live bait or dynamite, you know, go fishing yeah. with it, see what happens. Yeah. People in the comments talking about the viewership. Mm. Obviously, on the kayak side, that is not a big deal. But for the elites and MLF, that that can be a, a reckoning that they may come to. I don't know what the number if it's impacted viewership at all. I, I have no idea if it has. Well, I mean, think about the sponsor dollars too. Those electronics companies that are affiliated with said organizations, are they going to pull back on, you know, supporting that if they ban something like LiveScope? Yeah, I listened to uh, BTL, uh, Bass Talk Live mm. last week. Mark Jeffries, the the founder of that, is no longer on there, but he came on to talk about this with Matt Pangrak. And his opinion was the first org to step up and ban it and replace those sponsor dollars with something else and say, Hey, we're taking a stand. We'll actually get the leg up. I don't know if I agree with that or not, but that was an interesting take. I mean, I think you'll definitely pull that first wave of crowd support by doing that for sure. Yeah. So for kayaks, people in the comments talking about kayaks, I don't think it makes a hill of beans difference. Nothing that's banned on the elites. I don't think is banned in kayaks other than jumping berms, which you really can't, you could drag over a burn. I don't think you can jump one. So, yeah, I don't think it plays.